initiation sequence initiated. Time until human extinction in seconds. Where the oh. suffering end? This world was once a land rich with love, hey. harmony. Did you really oh. believe that? Go Six. to hell! You know, I'm rather not get back. This is far oh. too much fun. Turn it off! Or I'll shoot! Princess of Heritage. Royal blood, I presume. Just about as royal as they get. Interesting. Look, if you don't mind, it's been a long night. Oh, right. You're, you're my manners. Um, I'm not a problem, sir. Let me get the gate. Idiot. the throne room, pronto! Ugh, how much did I drink last night? It feels like my brain's trying to escape through me eye sockets. I wonder what the king wants with me. One day, I'll have my very own staircase. For now, I'm stuck with this steep vertical drop and a uh, rotten ladder. I should probably get dressed before I leave. My arm is in the wardrobe. Hold on. There's nothing in here. Someone's nicked my uniform. Someone's locked me in. It doesn't make any sense. I lost that key years ago. How the hell am I going to get out of here now? enough. 
darts, sharp and pointy. I'll just take one, wouldn't want to be greedy. I can't just climb down the side of the spire. I mean, maybe if I had a rope or something. That'll do nicely. Just don't tell Elf and Safety. In the castle of all places. Filthy street urchin larking about in the castle. <laughs> Pond dirt. Dong squirt. <laughs> Never heard of him. Dusty, please escort Mr. Longskirt out of the castle. He's making the place stink of booze. <laughs> Say this, Shorty. I can smell the air on you from here. Sorry, tiny man. Hilarious. to you. You're not making any sense. <laughs> Go on then. What was it? Hornets? Nettles? Working girl? Don't answer that. Save me the spit shower. <laughs> you know, a pinch of Medusa roots or sort of that. Might even have some down at the market. <laughs> Look, do you need me to write it down for you? I can see spoken word is not exactly your forte right now. Give me something to write on, and I'll draw you a picture. <sighs> That's the ticket. Pass it here. There you go. Show that to the fruit merchant at the market. He'll know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Hey, you! 
in his bite. But if you ain't got the coin, you best start walking. Still open? We never close. Yay. Here at Fruit for Sale, we pride ourselves on providing the finest range of fresh fruit, exotic spices, and herbal remedies from across the land. Nowhere else will you find such rarities as the Argonian Bouncing Vine Fruit, Stodgemore Virgin Rose Root, or even the highly sought after Stale Valley Beef Root. Although our reputation lies in selling the finest quality imports, we also offer a value range, catering to our lesser fortunate customers. Often misshapen, soured, or slightly fungal, our value range of fruit and spices offer the same medical benefits of fresh goods, only with the occasional bouts of vomit. That's right, value for money. Plenty to be had at fruit for sale. We accept no liability for our customers' safety when shopping in the value range. Always chew responsibly and never swallow. I cannot stress that enough. Poor Jimmy. Little lad never listened. I've got to admit, you're kind of adorable. Can't imagine your half is fun normally. <laughs> Would you look at that? I think he's lost the plot, Barry. Sure looks like it. <laughs> I've got to admit, you're kind of adorable. Can't imagine your half is fun normally. <laughs> Would you look at that? I think he's lost the plot, Barry. Sure looks like it. You still here? I see. Don't cost ya. That stuff ain't cheap. Ten gold coins. Don't look like he's got the coin, boss. Aye, that's tough luck, kid. Maybe a good old-fashioned potato will do the trick. Whoa there, Ekoma. That's far enough. Don't mind him, his bark is worse than his bite. But if you ain't got the coin, you best start walking. You know, we can't sell spice to miners. 
Oh, he's not cute. The lot's a bit slow. I think he's got something wrong with his face. Oh, right, you think? I thought that was one of them birthmarks. Nah, birthmarks don't leak like that. Right, you is. Sorry about that. You got any money, lad? This little thing. Can't understand the word he's saying. Can you, Barry? Just give him a barge and he'll leave us alone. What are the furry ones? What do I look like? A bloody charity? Poor lad could do with a break. This is starting to get old, sure. Tells you what, lad. Because I'm an honest fruit vendor, and I pride myself on providing a quality service to all my clients, no matter their financial situation, I'll cut you a break. You can have just one of these fine fruit you see before you. But choose wisely, for while the right fruit will bring you good health, the stale fruit will take it from you. <laughs> you have chosen wisely. There you go. So after some Medusa root, I see. Gonna cost ya. That stuff ain't cheap. <laughs> Ten gold coins. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with ya. there I thought I'd be stuck like that forever. Maybe folk will start taking me more seriously now. Hmm, maybe. Please sir, spare me a paddy. Thank you kind sir.
Well, I'll be damned. Tomba! Now, that's more like it. Can't believe I didn't recognize you for. How'd you mess up your face all like that? Ugh, I've had the worst day, Barrack. Need somebody's ear to bend? I'm here all day. Well, after what seemed like a fairly successful birthday shift, I thought it rude but not sample a few of the drunken monk's finer beverages. Wise. This led deep into the night until dawn, for when I thought it appropriate to retreat into my dorm at the castle spire. Unfortunately, it became apparent this morning that I was missing a few things, hence my appearance. Oh? Wow, that's a mighty unlucky turn of events, son. Huh? You're telling me. On the plus side, though, things can't get much worse. In fact, I've got something that'll make them half inch better. Have a look in the chest. Keys hidden in the usual place. Should be in here somewhere. Bingo! Aha! So that's where it was! Kept it safe for you, Tondi! It's a little crowded here. I'd rather get changed somewhere more private. If you'll excuse me? Ta-da! Isn't it? That's me. And how can I help you today, Tonbet? So, tell me everything you know about the castle. My pleasure. You've come to the right man. I've lived behind these walls since long before any of you folk were born. Simpler times they were. How so? Well, it was all bricks and mortar back in my day. None of these fancy flags and shiny floors. You see, we weren't the first folk to live in Wrinklewood. Quite the opposite. What do you mean? Well, long before your king, there was another, and another there before. The first king of Wrinklewood was nothing more than a bully and a thief. An entitled rich boy from the southern kingdoms, who stopped at nothing to get what he desired. A man with absolutely no respect for those who came before him. He ran into town and murdered its occupants paving the way for his entitled regime. What was once a sacred house of worship became his home. You mean the castle? Exactly. He filled the halls with this cheap tat and paved over the entranceway to the catacombs. You mean to say there are people buried underneath the castle? Doesn't really feel right, does it? Anyway, he didn't last long. Was soon overthrown by one of the Alcafard brothers, Pimbrim. Pimbrim Alcafard was a wicked man. Much like his predecessor, he was interested in little but riches and wealth. Pimbrim reigned over Rinklewood for many years, as I sat by and watched what was once a beautiful, civilized town become nothing more than another cog in the Alcafard war machine. That's why there's so many of you guards. After the war, there was nothing left to fight for. The Alcafard brothers had conquered the lands and left no stone unturned. Soon, Pembrim grew tired, disbanded his post and set course back to the Seven Kingdoms. Of course, someone had to pick up the pieces. That's where Theodore came in. King Theodore, woo! I couldn't have been happier when Theo took the reins. Such a kind fellow. He was exactly what this town needed. That he is. I couldn't imagine a better man for the job. Quiet. I could certainly imagine a few worse. Well, I guess that's about it. Any questions? What do you know of the wildlands beyond the gates? Only that which I've seen in my youth. 
There's the Elder Scar, formed thousands of years ago after the first fight of gods and men. The Deadwoods, a deep, sprawling maze of withered oak filled with unimaginable terrors. Not for the light of heart, I assure you. Beyond that is the greater northern region. I've yet to meet any man who dare venture into those treacherous peaks. Oh, and I hear we now have an outbreak of Wrinkle Worm, not far north of the town gates. Uh, Wrinkle Worm? Ghastly things, fully grown, they're the size of a house, with jaws the size of doors. Should we not be a little concerned? Not a lot we can do. Besides, it seems to have nested ready for the winter months. Yikes, well, uh, thanks. I'll be sure to give that one a miss. I've heard a lot of talk of the southern kingdoms. South of Winklewood are many kingdoms, towns, ports and cities. There's the seven cities of Alcaford, the port of Beswick, the sprawling farmland of Davna, Hardington House and Chisudin, to name a few. Travel even further, and you'll come across the Southern Kingdoms, a place where the rich and wealthy gorge themselves on fancy wine and expensive cheeses. That sounds delightful. You wouldn't like it. They eat fish for breakfast. Yeah. Right, of course. If you'd like to know more, you can always consult a tome from the castle library. I might just do that. Thanks. Not a problem, sir. That was very informative. Thanks. Uh, Tom Burt, you're looking better. You guys suck. Did I just hear that, right? Don't appreciate that tone of voice, Tom Burt. But you had me kicked out of the castle, in the blooming Long Johns. No, no. How exactly was we to know that was you? Yeah. You weren't exactly talking proper. Didn't make no sense from what I heard. And yet, normally you're so quick to notice my dwarven roots. A lot of dwarves about. Yeah, you ain't so special. Normally our beards though, wouldn't you say? He's playing silly buggers with you. You looking for an encore? Dusty! No, 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 wait a second. Look, I'm really sorry. I was just frustrated. It's, it's been a rough morning. I've overstepped my mark. <laughs> Look, Bobby, shaking. I'm really sorry, guys. I just, I just wanted to see the king. What you want Dusty for? I'm not sure. Do we have a problem here, Tom Burt? Certainly not. No, 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 nada. No, just, we uh, just on my way. It was lovely talking to you, fellas. All right, Dusty. That'll be all. Dusty tired. King will be very happy to see you, Tom Burt. <laughs> yeah, give him this when you see him. Is it? Nothing fancy, is it? No, 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 nothing. Nothing interesting. No. Just, uh, just some pantry requisition or something. <laughs> Go on, on your way. Psst, Knuckles, did he take it? Delivering the message as we speak. <laughs> Man. You guys are too hard on him. <laughs> Rather him than me. I'll drink to that. What do you think the king will do? Beats me. They ain't gonna be pretty. Only time will tell. <laughs>